Hey everyone, let's deep drive to Selenium features and architecture. So in this lecture, we're going to see very high level Selenium features, what is Selenium and also Selenium archi architecture. So what is Selenium? Selenium is a collection of open source APIs or tools which are used to automate testing of a web application. It supports multiple browsers such as Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari, Edge, as well as it supports cross platform like Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. This is one of the reasons why Selenium is such a popular, acceptable number one tool because it's a supporting multi platform as well as cross browsing uh, features. Apart from there, Selenium also support multi languages like Java, C Sharp, Python, JavaScript, and Ruby. So it means you can write your script using any one of the languages your company needs or you feel comfortable. Usually in the market, you will see Selenium with the Java combination is the most popular one. Selenium flavors. So Selenium usually comes with the three different flavors like Selenium Web Driver. Selenium IDE, Selenium Grid. Let's see, if you go to the Selenium, their official website, selenium.dab, you can see on their home page, you know, they have a three feature uh, flavors like Selenium WebDriver, which is the actual features or flavor you can see that we're going to use to develop a framework from scratch to robust level. And Selenium IDE, it's like recorded and play uh, features, playback features. It's not that famous. It's not usually in an industry level. We don't use the IDE because it has a lot of disadvantages because it's all dependent on recorded. So if, so if any features, you know, if any example, one button is moved from here to there, you know, your recorded uh, script is not going to be work. So that's why, and it's not able to create a dynamic framework. So that's why in the Selenium web driver is the most popular features that give you the benefits that you can build your frameworks, uh, whatever way, you know, using different uh, features, you know, so the different frameworks, integrate using uh, different plugin and makes your robust framework. And selenium grid that's another features that can be integrated with your selenium web driver that can you know scale up your framework to run on multiple environment you know uh, as well as the multiple you know uh, browser at the same time so that's uh, one of the benefits of the selenium grid okay and also as i said selenium it has a good resource over the internet. You will find a lot of community, you know, uh, whether it's a LinkedIn, whether it's, it's a Facebook, so you will find lots of community based on Selenium, specifically Selenium with the Java that can help you to resolve any problem you face. So besides Selenium's advantages, there is some disadvantages too. The Selenium cannot, you know, do automated desktop applications. Selenium cannot test API or, or web services because you know Selenium web driver it uses browsers uh, native method to automate the applications so it cannot work with the uh, with the API level you know because your web services are headless so Selenium cannot do any API testing or desktop application testing Creating a robust framework, you know, it needs a programming language. You know, as I said, it's like, you know, Selenium works with the different programming language. So, and it's an API. It's not a tools like, you know, the or, uh, traditional tools you see that like we download and install and it's, it's, it's started to work. Like, you know, the oldest tools, like there is a HP QTP tools, like you can install and you can start it to work, even though it was very expensive. But Selenium comes with an API format. So it will come with, you will see when you are going to work on the Selenium, it will come with a jar file. And, uh, you know, using that jar file, you can build your frameworks, you know, the way you need. 
you, you know you can add any plugin or third-party tools you know give you the better features or the benefits so it's like you know you have you need a architecture idea a design that how you're going to implement or develop your framework so you need a you know core programming knowledge to do this and that's the you know the benefit also because you know your script can help you to develop the frameworks the way you want you can it can help you to manage your frameworks you know whatever when their needs comes up so do this is you can say disadvantages like you need a, a language skills but this is the way it is and uh, it has some dependency also on external libraries or tools to perform uh, some of the features that you want say you know example log4j this is the external uh, library that that help you to create uh, your your login right and and uh, some of the testing framework like a testing j j j unit library that's also add on like a dependency and also reading from external uh you know uh external files you know we need a a, a separate tools it's called poi 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 that's you know that can help you to read data from uh, excel so those so it has some dependency on external library or tools so that's the some of the limitation of the selenium web driver now let's talk about selenium architecture so to understand the architecture we can divide this architecture in four parts one it's a your client computer it's a client part where you write your code through any editor like eclipse and then there is a json protocol json wire http protocol that's another part and then third part is a browser drivers or server and lastly it's uh, the actual native web browser so how those things work so here you know when you write your code using any language like java python javascript through any editor like eclipse or vs code and then when you execute or run your code that code it's a uh, translate to json file over http protocol and then that file or translate code it's it's transfer or move to you know or received by the selenium server server is nothing it's a different exe file or driver so in selenium server you know they have a different driver based on their uh, their browser so if you need to run your code to a chrome browser so there will be corresponding server which is chrome driver exe file or executable file similarly for firefox will be the gecko driver for edge will be the edge driver safari driver and so on so based on the browser you want to run your code you know your driver exe file or server will work will receive the your json file or code like it's uh, based on your, your whatever the programming language you write so json file will convert or or move to the server and then server will read the instruction your json file read the instruction whether it's a chrome driver or gecko driver and then according to your driver you, it will navigate to the browser the native browser if it's a chrome driver then chrome driver would will navigate to the actual chrome browser native browser and it will execute your follow the instruction and it will perform on your browser on a chrome browser and then it will give you the return you know the response back the same way from browser to the your driver like a server and then server to json word protocol and from there it will come back to that uh, on your client machine like your laptops you will see the output okay this is a very simple high level architecture uh, so selenium you know your selenium architecture it has some dependency on the browser so it's a, uh, the server browser driver so driver is the middleman 
you know, who works as a server, who receive your instruction, whatever the language you, you follow or write your code, and then it will navigate to your, you know, according to the browser or corresponding browser. Uh, so that's the way, you know, since it has a all different driver based on your all different available native browser we have in the market, whether it's a Chrome, Gecko, Edge. So for each and every browser we have, a, it has a different, different driver. And those driver will, you know, will navigate, will ping, will, you know, your, your browser that needs to work. And that's the way, you know, it, it work. And that's the way it's, it's uh, navigate to the browser and it can perform your any test, you know, no matter what, you know, you write in a Java, Python, it will work for all different browsers or multi different browsers. Okay, that's the very high level Selenium whatever architecture.